hello welcome back to heather rants we don't really rant but when people don't like what you have to say they think it makes you sound like you're the unhinged one when they call it ranting today's topic we're going to start going over a comment that i had from a um evidently a brother lopez that was under uh, my video regarding the blasphemy the Jehovah's Witnesses published. It was indirect in the last video of their 2023 summer convention where they put themselves higher than God in this video that the Jehovah's Witnesses published. Jehovah accepted back his people multiple times despite full-on worship and sacrifice to other gods. Now we know as Jehovah's Witnesses <laughs> You can't do that with the governing body. All you have to do is question their authority openly or openly discuss their level of authority in your apostasy. Which I found interesting, of course. <clears throat> now, apostasy is also deemed as like highly deadly and unforgivable in the Jehovah's Witness community. Um, according to their most recent thing, an apostate can legitimately and truly repent. This is like apparently some of the newer light. So there's improvement. I'll give them that. But Mr. Lopez, I have a hard time saying brother Lopez. I'm sorry. Mr. Lopez deleted his comment, but he said my video was apostate. I said, do you feel that my video is apostate? He says, it most certainly is. I said, then you're proving my point. And he tried arguing, how can like such a beautiful organization be worldwide? I said, Scientology is freaking worldwide. And they do more good for the community than the Jehovah's Witnesses. <clears throat> now, anywho. So it got down to where I pointed out that the insight from the scriptures book under blasphemy pointed out in its um, discussion on the Greek definition of blasphemy that, you know, taking accolades or claiming to have accolades and rights of God was blasphemy. I said, so either they're blasphemous. The governing body is blasphemous for claiming these accolades or you are blasphemous for giving it or both. He said, I'd rather be on the side of right that doesn't enlist in the army or do this or that or whatever. I said, they're not the only ones. First off, they're just counting on you not to look it up. Second off, a parent can do all the things right. They provide health, health care, shelter, clothing, food, do everything right. But does it make it right if they do the ultimate sin, we'll compare it to blasphemy, if they whip their child with an extension cord as a means of punishment? They can do everything else right <clears throat> and do this one very, very big wrong. He deleted his comment. The whole conversation, I lost it all. I only got the screenshot where he said that my video was most certainly apostasy. When I was talking about the governing body. Scripturally, apostasy is... You know, an act against God. Not discussing the authority of a human being. We're discussing the merits of the authority of a human being. It was against God, not a man's merits, or in this case, a group of men's merits. But it's interesting because this isn't the only way in which they claim to have a godly level of authority like a godlike level of authority. 
because you don't just have to openly question. They keep everybody in check with this running ahead of the chariot being bad. Independent thinking being aligned like along with like sexual sin and murder like um, causing divisions like discussing something contrary to <clears throat> the watchtower teachings is causing divisions and we must be of like mind there's all these thought stopping phrases that they use to keep people from like discussing the merits of their authority not challenging their authority you don't even have to challenge it you have to discuss the merits of it and you are apostate <laughs> this community is wild um they did this just recently with the beards we all need to be of like mind. We shouldn't be questioning the decisions of the governing body. That all of one like mind should be the core issues of their Christianity. Like, that's not about a haircut. There was no scriptural basis for the haircut. This was a man's opinion based on jealousy of a dead man back in like 1990 something. I already looked it up before y'all can find out. Rutherford was jealous of Russell and wanted the dude to cut off his beard so as not to venerate an animal worship Russell. <clears throat> it came from jealousy of a man. It wasn't even scriptural. If they wanted to say something scriptural, the grandmas with the short curly haircuts and the, the young women with those like edgy little like pixie cuts and shit, that would be unscriptural. If they wanted to claim a scripture, that would be more scriptural to claim that women have to have long hair than saying men can't have beards, okay? Like, don't play this game. We're not stupid. But we can't question them. We all need to be of like mind, even if it wasn't even scriptural to begin with on the beards. When they were in court in Norway, We'll talk about this on this one later. Um, when they were in court in Norway, they tried to say that the government doesn't have the authority to handle the holy documents, the holy features <clears throat> that were the publications and the videos and the media in general produced by the Jehovah's Witnesses. The government does not have the right to translate their holy books. But if you were to talk to a Jehovah's Witness, these are not holy books. These are not on level with the Bible. They are teaching aids. Subject to change. The teaching, subject to change. They put themselves on par with Moses. You know when Moses got rules? He went up on a mountain and got it written in stone. He didn't have books that could be outdated within five years. And literally, I have shown publications to Jehovah's Witnesses that prove my point about what the belief system was and they didn't want to own up to it. And they were like, that magazine is five years old. It's got to have changed by now. It's got to have changed by now. Like, if they were Moses, the shit would have been written in stone. It's not going to change. Thank you very much. Not to mention, these holy books aren't inspired. They said it themselves in a magazine. How can they be that holy if they're not claiming, like, super spiritual metaphysical inspiration from God to direct them to write that? And they want to claim this book is holy. But then... There's people in the rank and file that have such veneration for the governing body and their printing presses that, like, I was watching, like, a, my mom never let me watch the ghost hunting videos because, you know, that would bring spirits into the house. So I like to do all the things I wasn't allowed to do. I was watching a ghost hunting video. They were in a church. Somebody left a watchtower on, um, 
a knee wall in a church or a, a half wall. Somebody left a watchtower on that. And this lady was in the comment section. I told her, why are you even here? She was in the comment section. She said that, that, that magazine, that very, very important magazine that was in there is a very special magazine. That magazine will save your life for eternity and it shouldn't have been in this place, especially if it was haunted. It shouldn't have been in this church. It's a very, very special magazine and it deserves a lot of, a lot more respect than being left in this rundown place. I'm like, what? If this shit could literally change in five years time, if a five-year-old document can be outdated, if it wasn't written in stone, if they're making all these changes now, like, now an apostate can repent, that takes a lot of, like, wind out of your sails. Doesn't it? All you little, like, vigilante whatever's in here. They're haughty as hell, man. Excuse all the French in this video, but, like, it just blows my mind. They don't even have divine inspiration to write these things. They discuss it and, you know, go over scriptures and, you know, whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's subject to change. You know, these people are up on some kind of high horse. Some kind of high horse. But don't you dare question them. Don't you go running ahead of a chariot. I don't care if you're just trying to say that the, the Jehovah's Witnesses aren't locusts. Just read it in context. Oh, no, 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 no. It wasn't time for the Holy Spirit to provide clarity on that. Even though, you know, 80% of the Jehovah's Witnesses would have been like, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Maybe we won't use that. And the other will be like, no, 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 no. This is what the, the governing body says. Like, you're not allowed to say it. Even if everybody knows, you're not allowed to say it. Because you're running ahead of the chariot. Or you're causing divisions and you can get disfellowship for that. Or you have independent thinking, which is really, really bad. And you're just like the sinners and the tax collectors and all this stuff. Like, you're on par with them. You're causing divisions. They're not inspired. Inspired. They're not inspired. Their shit isn't written in stone like Moses. They don't have anything more to offer than a lot of these other places. Right on down to, like, there's other people that are, like, conscientious, conscientious objectors to, like, joining a war effort or the military or something. Like, they're not the only ones. <clears throat> that and... What about when Jesus said they're going out and they're not from us, but they're saying they support us and he says well if they're not they're not against us they're for us like they're fine what about jesus where's jesus following all of this why do we need them <clears throat> jesus was a replacement for moses who had his stuff written in stone these guys don't know their butt from a hole in the ground if like they had these people full-on hating and prejudiced against like people who left the religion when they could seriously repent now they could do it now i don't know what do you guys think don't forget if you ask enough questions you can be an apostate too